Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your love, lust, or loss reading. This is for Sagittarius. Alright, let's see what is going on. Love, lust, or loss for Sagittarius. Love, lust, or loss. Let's see. We have the kiss. Magic happened when you kissed me. And no, I am falling for you. I pray you fall with me. So this is going to be um, a hell of a moment, right? Chemistry is going to be there and it's everything feels so right in that particular moment. So let's pull some tarot and see what the hell is going on here. A few cards for you and a few cards for them and then the outcome. Love, love, or loss, or Sagittarius. If this resonates with you, please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Sagittarius, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Sagittarius out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So, however it resonates with you, this is for Sagittarius. Love, lust, or loss for Sagittarius. Okay. Well, this one drives you absolutely crazy. Ooh. All right. So, <clears throat> looking at each other, right? Kind of watching each other, researching each other. We got the Page of Swords here. So, just keeping an eye on things. They drive you absolutely crazy. And you're over there trying to play, you know, like cool, calm, and collected, not really saying anything. And they're just over here like doing their thing and and then all of a sudden it just kind of happens my concern here is this three of swords I feel like both of you have had like significant loss in your life this is clearly someone newish in your atmosphere right if you're watching each other but it's like There may be too many people here and someone is, is not going to be happy about this. That's what I want to say about that Three of Swords. But it's not going to be you and it's not going to be them. So I'm seeing like fireworks happen, right? When this moment happens, it's I'm seeing all of those little stars it's um, like fireworks so you've been checking each other out right and I feel like there may be um, an additional energy that may not be happy about this that's what I want to say so we got the Queen of Wands yes this is your energy but you could also be dealing with another fire sign male or female um, this may be, you know, like an ex that isn't happy that this is going to be transpiring here. Okay, so very guarded. Um, everybody's just kind of watching and being very reserved. That's what I want to say. And very guarded with um, emotions as well. Because, like I said, both of you have experienced loss in your previous love journey. So, very protective. Very protective. Guards are way up here. 
four of pentacles but nothing's going to be able to stop this um it's what's meant to be you and this person are crossing paths for a reason and you feel the energetic pull towards each other for a reason so it's pretty lusty right now so it, can there be more than that that's going to be the question um but things are going to be shifting in a big way it just kind of falls into place right the universe kind of puts you two together and this moment happens so I feel like this is you over here like they're driving you absolutely insane and you're trying to be very cool calm and collected very guarded looking looking um, healthy boundaries are are up it's very clear you've been wounded before um, so you don't let just anyone into your space you could be dealing with an air sign, male or female, but this is you kind of keeping everything to yourself. But this one particular person is on your mind, pretty hardcore. So we got the King of Swords, we got the Nine of Wands, and we've got the Nine of Swords. They're over here, like, just doing their thing, right? So we got the Nine of Pentacles, we got the Star card, and we got the Two of Swords. It's like they want more information about you. They, It's like they want to get to know you more before they put their heart into it. So we got the Two of Swords here. They're very much aware of who you are. And they're just over here. They they don't settle for uh, just anyone either. Uh, we got the Nine of Pentacles here. This person is, you know, waiting, seeing what's going on, seeing what's going to happen, seeing when the stars align again with the Aquarius energy, with the star card. But they're very curious and they want to see what happens here. Um they want it to happen right and i feel like when this moment happens it's fireworks 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 between the two of you so it's when it happens it happens very quickly and it's going to be like this unstoppable energy um with this knight of swords this ace of wands i mean jesus christ but there's someone that's going to be hurt by this with that three of swords and i don't think it's you and i don't think it's them i think it's someone it's like an additional energy whether there's an attachment or not or whether this is an ex or something it's someone's going to be pissed all right so we got the knight of swords the ace of wands and the three of swords so not without its drama everyone's being very careful here but it's not going to fate has other plans right the universe has other plans and it's like all of a sudden you're there in that moment and so and it happens um so see if it develops right develops beyond this intense attraction and so it's like one thing has to happen before emotions are introduced into the equation so i'm going to call it less for now all right sagittarius that is your reading i hope that resonates with some of you most of you all of you you can now follow me on all the socials and i'll leave those links down below in the description box you guys have a beautiful day and a great week and i will talk to you soon take care and god bless